Hi everyone, welcome to this GCSE Foundation Revision video. There's 25 days to go into your GCSE Maths exam, and so that means obviously we've gone through 75 videos so far, so we're three quarters of the way through our program, and we've got a quarter to go. So hopefully your confidence is improving and you feel like you're getting a bit more ready for your GCSE exams. At this point, obviously, you've been perhaps doing loads of past papers, so hopefully all those skills that you revised as you've gone through are all useful as you've done those past papers. But in today's video, with 25 days to go, we're going to look at the topic of enlargements. So we're going to look at another one of our transformations, and there's one where the shapes may perhaps get bigger, or even smaller if it's a fractional scale factor, so if it's a scale factor of a half, it might get smaller. But in this video, we're going to look at how to enlarge shapes on grids, so that's card number 84 if you've got the code mouse revision cards, and that'd be useful for you. So in this video, we're going to look at how to enlarge uh, shapes on grids, we're going to look at how to describe enlargements. We're going to look at how to enlarge using a fractional scale factor and to describe those as well. So I hope you find this video useful. Let's get started. So our first question is to enlarge B by scale factor 3 using 3 negative 4 as the center of enlargement. Now feel free to pause this video now and think about how you would do that. Um, and then whenever you're ready, press play. Okay, so to enlarge this shape B, we're using scale factor 3 using 3, 4 as the center of enlargement. The first thing I would do is I'd plot the center of enlargement, which is 3, 4, which is there. Now we want to enlarge B using scale factor 3. That means all the points of B are going to become 3 times as far away from the center of enlargement. So let's start off with this point here. To get from the center of enlargement to this point, we would go 1 square left and 1 square down. But because we're using scale factor 3, we're going to multiply that by 3. So instead of going 1 left and 1 down, we're going to go 3 left, so 1, 2, 3, and 3 down, 1, 2, 3. So it's going to move to there. So this point will move to here. Now let's do this point. So it's 1, 2 left from the center of enlargement and 1 down. We're going to multiply by 3, so it's going to be 6 left and 3 down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 3 down. 1, 2, 3. And that's it. Okay, this point here, it's 1 to the left and 1, 2, 3 down. So we're going to multiply by 3. It's going to be 3 to the left and 9 down. So 1, 2, 3. And then 9 down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And finally, this point here, it's 1, 2 to the left, and 1, 2, 3 down from the center of enlargement. So we're going to multiply those by 3, so it's going to be 6 to the left and 9 down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 9 down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And that's it. And now let's join those points up. And that's it with enlarge B by scale factor 3 using 3, 4 as a center of enlargement. Hopefully that's what you thought whenever I asked you to think about how you would do it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So this time we've got two ships on a grid. We've got A, this trapezium, and we've got B, another trapezium. And B is obviously bigger than A. And we've been asked to describe fully the single transformation that maps A onto B. So I want you to pause the video now and think how you would describe the transformation that maps A onto B. Okay, so the first thing we're going to say it's been enlarged. To get from A to B, there's been an enlargement, so it has been enlarged. And we're going to say the scale factor by scale factor. Now to find the scale factor, we'll look at the sides. The length of the top of A is 2, and the length of the top of B is 4. So it's been enlarged by scale factor 2, it's been doubled, so it's been enlarged by scale factor 2. With center of enlargements, with center of enlargement, now we need to find the center of enlargement, and to find the coordinates of that center of enlargement, what we're going to do is we're going to choose the corresponding points of the shape, so for instance the top left and the top left, and I'm going to get a ruler, and I'm going to draw a line that passes through those points and carries on, so like so. Then what I'm going to do is I'm now going to choose two other corresponding points, so perhaps the bottom left and bottom left, and I'm going to choose, draw a line that passes through those points and carry on. And you can see that both of those lines pass through the point 7, 6. Let's just check that. I'm going to do the top right and the top right, and again, they pass through the point 7, 6, and so on. So that means the center of enlargement will be the point 7, 6. And that's it. So we've been asked to describe fully the single transformation that maps A onto B. So there's been an enlargement, it's been enlarged by scale factor 2 with the center of enlargement 7, 6. And that's it. Okay, so we've looked at how to do questions where the scale factors of enlargement are numbers such as 2 and 3 and so on. Now let's have a look at one with a fractional scale factor. So we've been asked to enlarge this shape by scale factor a half using the center of enlargement negative 5, negative 5. So the center of enlargement is negative 5, negative 5. So that's where the center of enlargement is. And we need to enlarge this kite using scale factor of a half. So that means it's actually going to get smaller. All the sides are going to become half the length. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to start looking at each point. So let's start off, go into our center of enlargement and see how we get to this point, the bottom of the kite. So we would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 across and 1 up. So let's half those, that'll be 3 across and a half up. So 1, 2, 3 and a half up would be there. 
Now, our next point, let's do the left-hand side. It's from the center of enlargement, one, two, three, four across, and one, two, three, four, five, six up. So let's half those, that'll be two across and three up. So one, two, and three up, one, two, three, so it'll move to there. This point over here, it's from the center of enlargement, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight across, and one, two, three, four, five, six up. So halving those would be four across and three up, one, two, three, four, and three up, one, two, three, so that moved to there. And finally, the top of the kite, it's one, two, three, four, five, six across, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight up. So half and that will be three, four, three to the right, and four up, one, two, three, and four up, one, two, three, four, so to move to there. Now we've got our points, we just need to join them up, and that's it, so we've enlarged this kite using a scale factor of a half, using negative five, negative five as the center of enlargement, and that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So this time we've got a grid, and we've got rectangles A and B, and we've been asked to describe fully the single transformation that maps A onto B. So pause the video and have a go at this now yourself and see how you would describe the transformation that maps A onto B. Okay, so if we have a look at A and B, you can see it's not a translation, a reflection, or a rotation. So it's going to be an enlargement. So it has been enlarged by scale factor, scale factor. Okay, and then to find the scale factor, let's look at the length of A and the length of B. So the length of A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the length of B is 2. So that means the length of B is a third of the length of A. So that means the scale factor of enlargement is a third. Okay, so it's been enlarged by scale factor of third, so all the lengths have been divided by three or multiplied by a third to get the lengths of B. And now we need to find the center of enlargement. With center of enlargement, let's find the center of enlargement. So we'll get our ruler and pencil and we'll draw through the corresponding points. And as you can see, whenever we drew through the corresponding points, so the top right and the top right and carried on the line, and the top left and the top left and carried on the line, they both pass through this point here, which is the point negative one, negative two, negative one, negative two. So that's the center of enlargement, negative one, negative two and that's it and that's it so in this video we've looked at enlargements and we've looked at how to enlarge chips and how to describe those enlargements as well so talking about the scale factor of enlargement the center of enlargement and the fact that it is enlargement and so on so i really hope you found this video so keep up the hard work you're doing incredibly well you're three quarters of the way through these videos another quarter to go you'll do the exam is that and um, have a great summer so keep up the hard work if you find this video useful please like it and subscribe to the youtube channel and uh, thanks so much cheers bye